guys welcome back to another video this is harbor space scholarship contest div one div two and we're going to solve the first problem that is increasing and decreasing let's see what the problem states so they are telling that uh, we'll be given two integers that is x and y and also n your task is to construct an array consisting of n integers that satisfies three conditions so they are telling that like uh, if you have n elements like let's say n is 4 1 2 3 4 they will give you x and y you can fix x and y here and a is strictly increasing x less than this less than and this less than okay that's all now if we denote bi ai plus 1 minus ai then b is strictly decreasing that is if this is a array and uh, if they create a b array from a array if they are telling that the difference between any two consecutive elements should be keeping on decreasing that is uh, if this is x1 and this is uh, x2 they are telling that x1 minus x is greater than x2 minus x1 is greater than y minus x2 okay so x1 minus x is greater than x2 minus x1 is greater than y minus x2 so our job is to fill these gaps here so if uh, n equal to 5 there will be 1 2 3 4 5 uh, x and y they will already give we need to uh, fill the gaps in such a way that this condition is valid and uh, this less than condition is also valid so for example let's take this uh, x and y, x value as 10 and y value as something like uh, 36 and n value let's take it as 4 so 1 2 3 4 uh, we can fix the y value here and we can fix the x value here so what else can we do we can have to do in such a way that let's say we can write like 35 here and uh, something like 30 so what is the difference we got this is fixed the difference we got is 36 minus 5 is 1 35 minus 30 is 5 30 minus 10 is 20 so this is less than 10 less than 30 less than 35 less than 36 and in the same case 20 is greater than 5 greater than 1 so how do we do it and if the result is not possible they just told that you just have to print a single integer minus 1 so initially we have x and y right and we want to know whether uh, this condition is possible or not so whenever we write it we create the best possible outcome so best possible outcome means if n equal to let's say 6 2 3 4 5 6 let's take the same numbers x and y 10 and 36 the best possible outcome is we can start from the we will assume that b is already existing that is something like 1 greater than 2 greater than 3 greater than 4 something like that okay he, this can be anything so if uh, this we need to get 1 means what we have to add this is 36 if this is 36 we have to add 35 here right 36 minus 1 is 35 now 35 minus 2 is how much 33 33 minus 3 is how much 30 30 minus 4 is how much 26 uh, now 26 minus 10 is how much 26 minus 10 is around uh, 16 now this uh, we got it that's all so we'll always generate the best possible thing starting from one from the right side and see whether the solution is uh, valid or not how do we validate whether the solution is correct by generating the best possible solution and comparing this number and these two difference if 26 minus 10 16 is greater than 30 minus 26 we can definitely say that our given assumption is valid so uh, this is the code what did we do here we took a vector and uh, first we initially initialized y value we also initialized x value and from the right side i am just uh, taking the y value first and decreasing it by one count is one here and incrementing to the left and then incrementing the count value so first we subtract by one then from the existing one we subtract by two then we subtract by three then we subtract by four similarly we keep on going till the left then after everything is done i am taking the first two elements difference is greater than the next two elements then i can definitely say that the answer always exists and i am simply printing the array so that's it guys it's a very simple problem but uh, we have to know how to actually generate that array that's all so that's it. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.